Hello, my name is Amy Phillips, and it's a pleasure to show you around my family's new home. I begin today by acknowledging the Jaiwa people, traditional custodians of the land on which I live today, and pay my respects to their elders past and present. We live on a rise nearby to the town of Oki in southern Queensland, which is always famously on the news during winter for having some of the coldest temperatures in the state. Likewise, it can get very, very warm, as most of Queensland is good at. January is the warm warmest month and July the coldest. I'd say that we have a jumper on from about April to September most years. It's important to understand our climate because it really did guide us in the journey of designing our home. We're especially keen to take advantage of our beautiful northern views with passive solar home principles. So while orientating our home just a few, a few degrees east of north was a major consideration when we approached Ross Campbell from Eco Blueprints, who's a long-term build, building designer based in Toowoomba, so too was the understanding of the lifestyle that our family wanted from our space. We're a family of four. We've got two young girls who are quite vivacious and active. I'm a journalist. My partner manages a farm. In fact, before we built this house, we lived in central west Queensland, and that really helped guide our ambition for a low energy home that was comfortable during all four seasons because, of course, as you can imagine, living in a little Queenslander in Longreach uh, is very hot and also very cold. I also wanted it to connect with our love of the outside environment and was a practical place so that cleaning didn't dominate our time off. As you can see, Ross quite efficiently came up with a beautiful design for our home. In fact, he exceeded our expectations with a simple design using a lot of natural materials, coming in with an 8.9 star energy efficiency rating and on budget at less than $400,000. We then engaged Jeff Gibson from Jeff Gibson Homes to build. Again, he's a long-term builder based here in Toowoomba who immediately understood our vision and our ambition for a low energy home that used not only quality, but some of the latest materials available on the market. So as you can see from the design, all of the living areas have Northern orientation as well as all three bedrooms to take advantage of the sun penetrating into the rooms during winter and absolutely no direct sun penetrating during summer when, of course, it's above the house. The home was designed under a skillion roof to help achieve the shade needed during summer, especially during the afternoons over the windows. I just love how the raked ceiling in the living area also helps direct your eye to those northern views. As a result, I actually haven't felt the urge to put any curtains up except for in the bathrooms because we're on a private block of land and the sun moves around to the eastern side of the house in summer. Hence, you're only woken late in the morning during winter by direct morning sunlight. It's quite delightful. Likewise, due to the passive solar nature of our home, we only have ceiling fans for cooling and a good wood fire for heating. The gauze sitting area is a necessity due to the constant threat of flies here on the Darling Downs. And while it can get a chilly cross breeze during winter, I just love how the double doors between uh, the, the dining area and the sitting area of the gauzed area are permanently open during the warmer months, adding a really enjoyable living space. It does have some small holes at ground level in case of a sideways storm dumping a lot of water and needs to drain out. So far, it's been no problem. Jeff Gibson has also encouraged us to have a look at the new Wagner Earth friendly concrete being produced locally, which has vastly reduced CO2 emissions compared to Portland cement. It does cost more, but it's great to know the product has no concrete, sorry, it's great to know the product has no cement, the biggest contributor to the carbon footprint of a build. And it was also really fun to try a new product on the market. We've been really happy with the polished concrete finish of the EFC and as a thermal mass. Anywhere the sun hits, it's toasty warm, which helps to bring the temperature of our home up during those cooler months. Likewise, a hot day is easy to tolerate if you close the house up completely during the middle of the day, kick your shoes off and really allow that refreshing coolness of the concrete to work its way up your legs. Further to the floors, I've always loved the look of rammed earth and I was lucky enough to be put in touch with Sean Palmer, a specialist builder in rammed earth homes based in Stanthorpe. Ross Campbell incorporated the wool, not only as a central feature, but another thermal mass. The sun glows on it during winter and it's completely shaded in summer to help moderate the temperature of our home. It's the one feature of the house that everybody immediately wants to touch. 
Sean Palmer was very accommodating considering he usually builds entire homes of rammed earth. It's a product though that should be on everybody's material wish list. Further, I just couldn't go past the low E glass timber windows and doors. While they do require maintenance, they really increase the quality feel of the home and have greatly have great insulating properties, so contribute to the comfort as well. We were very bold with the amount of glass on the northern side of the house, kept the southern windows modest and only one small window to the west. Ross Campbell cleverly suggested high windows rather than installing close story windows, of which I can guarantee I would have never have cleaned. The tops of the windows and doors that we've got though are easy stool height, making cleaning and maintenance simple. Our views are very special, so the windows help frame them beautifully. Another design consideration by Ross Campbell was the enthusiastic grapevines growing over the northern and western pergolas. It's hard to believe they're less than two years old and doing exactly as we hoped, providing dapple shade in summer and completely deciduous in winter. It's just beautiful looking out from the bedrooms uh, and lying in bed, and they just generally create an evolving natural threshold for very little work so far. Finally, we are growing a garden that will hopefully complement our home and add to its comfort and enjoyment. I just love it though how our home is built on ground level and creates a seamless transition between the structure and outside, encouraging us all to uh, move out into that space. Unfortunately, grow though, growing big trees to the west of the house is out of the question because we're completely off grid with a solar system and batteries installed in the shed to the south of the house. Forbes batteries in Toowoomba handle the install and continue and continue to remotely monitor the system, which gives me great, gives us great peace of mind. Now, they've got a few facts here for me to give you. They say we have a 10 kVA inverter. It's capable of eight kilowatts of power continuously, but can surge up to 20 kilowatts. We've got a lithium battery bank of 3.5 kilowatt hours per battery. Uh, we've on the roof got 7.5 kilowatts of solar panels, which is capable of 26 kilowatt hours of solar yield on average per day. We have an inverter with a generator um, connected to it to back us up if we need to. Interestingly, the generator yet has not automatically kicked in because the batteries are doing f just fine doing the heavy lifting and on average return to about 100% capacity within three hours in the morning. So by nine or 10, we're back at 100% battery. Um, as a result, apparently Forbes say our home usually demands about 20 to 30 percent of battery use every 24 hours. Overall, the home is incredible to live in. It's comfortable. We have a medium blanket on our beds probably all year round. The kids are even happy to wear summer pyjamas in the cooler months, such is the constant temperature inside, thanks to our very efficient home and fireplace, which provides enough heat to warm even the furthest room. It really surprised me actually how easy it was to achieve an 8.9 energy efficient home, but a good building designer, a good builder, as well as orientation did and continue to do all the heavy lifting. Our thanks to both Ross Campbell and Jeff Gibson for taking us on.